This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, starting at verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. <clears throat> Shalom, Yashua'ala, peace Israel. Call her law, your law. Allah, you know, Yahweh. Baha Shom Yahweh Shah. Baha Shom Racha Kodash. From the brother Chasai Gadol from the camp province of Babylon. Down here in Tampa Bay, Florida. Coming at you with another quick hit. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shom Yahweh Shah. I would like to give double honors to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone. They taught me this truth and rule well. Being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace, blessing, love, health, and wellness, and all salutations to the hope for the light. The house of David that is scattered abroad across the four winds of the earth. That are laboring in his truth with all sincerity. Shalom. And the rock of thumb to the Aquatium, the few sisters that are listening and learning in. Hoping to feed the lambs and the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Straight to the point, let's get to the lesson. The days are being shortened for the elect sake. The days are being shortened for the elect sake. All right. So somewhere in the lines of that, that'll be the title of this lesson. So I'm going back into the precept that I brought out at the beginning. I bring it back out for edification sake. And Yahweh writes his eye this lesson be edifying unto the flock. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, starting at verse 3, and it reads, for the, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Now the reason for this precept that I brought out is because right now we are in those last days. We are in these end times. Okay, biblical prophecy are being fulfilled left and right as we speak with some of the major prophecies are still yet to come, such as Jacob's trouble, such as the MOT to the B being made mandatory, all right? But other than that, we've been hearing of the rumors of wars, okay, famine, earthquakes in diverse places, all right? The vision is yet for an appointed time, okay? They had an article that came out that said that the, that the earth is moving and speeding so like you, the earth is spinning at a faster pace. So our days are becoming shorter. Okay. And all of these things are that vision, that vision of those end times, man. Okay. It said, though it tarry, wait for it. And tarry means to delay. Okay. We all know for those of us that are in the know that Yahweh Shah is about to make his return. And before he makes his return, those days must be short for the less sake. Let's go to this. Let's go to Matthew chapter 24. Starting at verse 21. And it reads and it says. For then shall be great tribulation. Such as was not since the beginning of the world. To this time. No, nor ever shall be. Right. Great tribulation. Isn't that what's going on? All right. Prophecies are being fulfilled. Euphrates River drying up. School of fish in the Sahara Desert. All right. War, I mean, uh, Salakia School of fish in the desert. A flowing water in the Sahara Desert, rumors of wars, sedition amongst men, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places, brush fires, all of these things are those great tribulations, man. All right? People are going viral, showing off of their uh, karagma. All of these things are showing you that we are in our last days, man. Okay, but the point here is in verse 22 and it reads, and expect those days should be shortened and there shall be no flesh so like there shall there should no flesh be saved for the elect sake those days shall be shortened let's bring that back matthew chapter 24 starting at verse 22 and expect those days should be shortened there shall no flesh be saved but for the elect sake those days shall be shortened, man. So right now, the Lord is speeding up the process, man. To do what? To ultimately save his elect. Because scriptures say that, all right, 
uh, Israel is like a is like a sand of the sea, but only a remnant shall be saved. All right, let's grab that real quick. So like you. One second, Baba Kasha. Romans chapter 9, verse 27. And it reads, it says, Esaias also crieth concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Right, man. Only a remnant is going to be saved. That remnant is going into who? The 144,000 prophets, man. That is also a part of that one third. Okay, but there's going to be men, women, and children or women and children that will be saved. That's going to be a part of that elect, man. There's elect women, all right? That's going to be saved, man. But those days, these days on, on, on this earth, man, are being shorted, man. Scripture say, for our light affliction is but for a moment, all right? So with all of these, with all of these prophecies coming to pass, man, we almost up out of here, brothers. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 10. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Right. I endure all things for the elect's sake. All right. These wars. Okay. Putting the spirit on Putin to want to constantly keep going at Ukraine. Putting the spirit on Biden to want to, uh, you know, do things to Russia opposed to opposed to the, the, the invasion of Ukraine. All right. China and Taiwan. Okay. All of these rumors of wars. You got the sedition amongst men. All right. You have friends fighting like enemies amongst each other. Okay, uproars amongst the people. All of these things are being brought upon, upon the earth so that the elect shall be sealed and be waking up, man. All right? The time is running short. The doors of mercy are closing. That grace period is getting shorter and shorter, man. All right? Scriptures say, grow in the grace thereof. So at the time of each and every one of these brothers that's out here pushing his word with all truth and sincerity, humbly speaking for myself, the Lord is shortening these days, man. That's why every, you wake up and then before you know it, it's already five o'clock, man. Why? Because the Lord is speeding up the time, man. The Lord is speeding up this time for what? For his elect to ultimately be saved, man. Reading on that they may also obtain the salvation, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, with eternal glory, man. So right now we are hoping to be a part of that elect. But in the midst of that, even though the days are being shortened, we still have works to do unto the Lord. Until the Lord do as uh, as Ezekiel 32 says, all right, well, he shall make our tongues cleave to the roof of thy mouth. We must continue to push this word and do the will and the works of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh man. So yes, the days may be getting shorter, but we still have a lot more works to do, man. All right. So I just want to make this quick and edifying and straight to the point. Just understand something, brothers. We are almost home. And the days are going to continue to be shorter. For who? For the elect's sake. The Lord is only coming back for the elect, man. All right? So I'm going to close out and I'm going to give all praise and glory honor to Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Hashem, Rechach Kodash, and double honor to the head elders and apostles of the great millstone that taught me to shoot and rule well. Shalom.